Hello again. Uh, I just recently got, well, not recently, but today I got something in the mail. Rather, two things. One, many of you probably care about, which is this, completely unrelated to My Little Pony whatsoever. But then again, I did get this. And boy, am I happy to have this. Because of, well, the main reason, it's got Luna. I think this is the only way you can get Luna with the uh, two packs. Let's see, what did, uh, let's see, how much did I get for this? I had to get it off Amazon because the dollar store didn't have any more. And my card uh, is not working, so the only way I can get these is off Amazon. Let's see. Looks like twenty two fifty nine for this. Uh, I'd say it's worth it. Uh, any amount of money for one of these is worth it, so... Let's take a look at the package before we open it, which I already did. So anyway, on the bottom here we have Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. Canterlot. Only at Target. Right, I got off Amazon. I didn't even have to go to Target, so... Right. Special Edition Pony It's referring to Luna. And we have a Pink Celestia. Uh, as many call her Pink Estia or Cool Estia. You take your pick. I mean, she's got see through wings so that we'll get that when we get to that. Comb, a barrette, like uh, the jumbo one, or where is it? Uh, kind of like this one. Add some, some barrettes. This big thing, right? See, she came with, I think, three barrettes. This one comes with one. And I didn't know actually where to stick it until I looked at the back. But before we get to the back, we have Celestia. There is no Luna anywhere. For some reason, she doesn't deserve to be on the box. Just Celestia. I want Luna. Anyway, on the back, this is what we have here. Cantala is the royal city in Equestria and home to Princess Celestia. The princess lives in a magical castle. Every pony dreams of visiting Cantala. Okay, so talk about Celestia. I guess Luna is obviously the bonus figure because um, it doesn't mention anything about Luna here, and it does not show her there. So she's like, it's, it's a Celestia toy, and Luna is just a bonus. In the back we have a picture of the toys, and that's where the barrette goes. It, can't, it comes with two TRs. You got one and two, and actually a removable cape, which is interesting. Which is pink. That's weird. You know, Luna looks like a uh, the younger version of Luna, like um. At episode 2 of season 1 where she gets re reverted from Nightmare Moon back to Luna. She's small. I guess that's what she's supposed to be right there. She's got a cutie mark. She's got... Oh, she didn't check to see if they were on both sides, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So let's see, what do we have? We have... Royal sisters Celestia and Luna work together to rule over Equestria peacefully. Oh, so they actually did mention her. But that's, that's the main description. This is, I guess, is the special edition description, perhaps? I don't know. Anyway, the Mad Pony logo, we have the Cantalette Castle right there. It was very nice in the background. And that's, I guess, it for the back. Sides, we got French Biz Magic right on the side. Top, you have nothing. Other side, same thing, French Biz Magic. And on the bottom, barcodes, upside down. The Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. Yep. So this um package wise is nice. I mean this thing is cool, it's shiny, but it has nothing to do with the toy. Nothing at all. It's target exclusive. So thank God for Amazon or else I wouldn't get this. <laughs> mm. So free it up. Free it up. Let's see. Choking hazard. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, that's the choking hazard. The barrette. Anyway, so let's see. Let me get uh, actually retape this. If you can see that, that's not package tape. That's uh, 
with the scotch and masking. Ah, scotch tape. So let me get my Zacto knife out. We cut open or reopen this box. I should just use my fingernail for this. Get the box open. Uh, pink SDF fell out. Stick it back into her slot. Hmm. Okay. Out of the package. Or this is actually this is the halfway out of the package mode because they're still kind of in it. So anyway, let's take a look at this. They got a nice background. They got. Castle in the background again. Obviously, you can't see it because they're in the way. So let's get them. Oh, that's the last one. That's how. That's how Victor plans. Okay, I already undid Luna because she had a hair tie to tie to keep it. Um, I guess you know, like, you know how they always have that. So let's first let's take a look at Luna, the special edition pony. The nice hair. Let's see. Yeah, blue, right, white blue, I guess purple, magenta, turquoise, so not lot, not not like the the show, but it's still nice and it's shiny. It's really it's got sparkles. Look at that, it's got sparkles. And in, in the tails, this has two colors. I think there's purple and magenta, also sparkly. Her hair, so yeah, her hair is nice. I think it's a different material, actually, than. Than, than the others, it's it's more smooth. It kind of feels like this hair right here. Kind of feels like this, except this one's cooler because it's got sparkles. Oh, uh, they didn't do it. Anyway, her her wings are sparkly too, but at least they match her body. I'm like pink SD over there. Her head does turn like the like uh, all the others do. So she's kind of like a uh, like the miniatures, like the, the basic ponies, but it's Luna, so she doesn't have her hoof, um, the, the, the hoof designs, you know, like, I don't know, she, I don't know, in the uh, show she has, like, you know, boots or fancy shoes or whatever, I don't know what they are, but anyway, she got her, 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 her moon cutie mark, right there, be pretty shiny, you decide, oh, oh, they didn't do it. So it's still, still blank blank. Uh, one thing I don't like about these eyes is that... Well, let me get this tiara off for a second. Just set it down there. If you look at her eye. She's kind of looking off into the into like like behind her, kind of like eyeing something or whatever. Same thing on this side. She's eyeing behind her. So if you look at her from the front, she's reverse cross side. Her eye is looking this way. That one's looking that way. I don't... Understand why they had to do that, but it looks kind of weird. This, yeah, reverse cross side, going away from the center. It's weird. Anyway, her horn as well, like her wings, is shiny. Look at that thing. And uh, anyway, it's, so, I guess that's why it's called uh, what was it called? Special edition. Uh, what's it? Special edition pony. Yeah, because she's really, really shiny. Let me stick it. Her tiara back on. Okay. So that's the Luna special edition. Now to the main feature of the box we have. Celestia, who doesn't look like Celestia at all. Just just a little. If she was white, maybe maybe if her hair was the right colors. And her wings weren't see through magenta then I don't know, maybe. So let's take a look. We have she's wearing her cape. When she, when she comes pretty sparkly, you can actually un velcro this from the front and take it off. So you have that. Which is nice. Oh, it didn't do it. Anyway, you have, you can see the, the design of the hoof, um, push the cantalite fancy shoes or whatever. I don't know what they're called. But you got the hoof designs. Her tail is solid plastic. I feel like it's a shame. I mean, at least they have this to make up for, you know, like the typical hair, but 
they felt the need to make the hair on this one. Let me take this off. Hair on this one to not move. Kind of a flaw. It looks kind of. It looks. It looks nice, but it'd be, it'd be nice to comb it. You know. Anyway, she got her son cutie mark on one side. The other side, still nothing. When will they ever get that right? And when will we ever make Celestia pink? This is ridiculous. She's not pink. She's white. Okay, have you seen the show? Even on the box. Where's the box? Here's the box. Look at that. Compare these. Yeah. Her hair may be close, but she is not pink in the picture, is she? She's white with yellow hoof thingies and a thing right there. Whatever that is. She does not have it. She looks more like Cadence. Without waiting than Celestia. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, that is... That is Celestia. Also her, who will notice her hoof in a different position than the typical basic ponies. It's kind of up, because she's proper. More so than her little sister. Anyway. Very slender. Very long legs, actually. Look, look at those legs. Very long. Anyway. Now, I don't know why they make her pink. Why can't they make her white? Is there something wrong with making one of these, like, is, why isn't this white? I don't, I can't find any reason why Hasbro can't make a white Celestia. If anyone has any ideas why there's no, well, why they haven't done a white one yet, and why the wings can't be normal, then please, let me know in the comments, because I'm curious. And because of her hair being solid, you can't move her head. So, you know, and her, she's got the same problem that Luna has. She's looking up on the side, right? Looking up on the side. So she's, she's cross-eyed. Reverse cross-eyed. Now, it doesn't look as bad as Luna, but she's still reverse cross-eyed, which is weird. Really weird. So, that's the toys out of the way now. For the features, these come with a comb and a barrette. And actually, I use the exact one. I can cut a hole in the back so I can pop these out. Okay, there we go. So, I got other buckets empty so I can pop toss that aside. Or actually, you know what? It, 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 it's a good background piece. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it in the back. Anyway, so. Put Celestia's crown bag on. There we go. And we have a comb. Pink comb. Comb the hair. Basic like with all the other ones do, you just comb the hair. Of course, you must be careful with this one because of the glitter or whatever that shiny stuff is. If that's a separate, like, if they just splattered glitter all over the tail or if that's actually the design that's shiny. But anyway, um, actually, no, look. There's sparkles on my fingers. That means that it's not attached well. Maybe it's from the wings or the horn. I don't know. Maybe it's from her cutie mark. Possibly. Look at the look at shine. Look, at that. look how, how the light reflects in that. It's awesome. It's actually shining. It's ridiculous. So, basic thing. You just, you just comb the hair. This one, yeah, same problem. You can't comb plastic. So that's, that's a shame. Still a nice figure, though. And the barrette. Now, I thought it went on her hair like most barrettes are supposed to do. But according to the back of the box, you're supposed to put it on her tail. Because if you put it on her mane, it will pop off because it's, it, it's too small. So there. You have Luna with a barrette. Of course, Luna doesn't seem like the kind of character who would 
aware of a rep. But at least the reason I got this is because I was because I wanted Luna. I could care less about Celestia. So I'm I'm glad that they made Luna like a basic pony with the comb, you know, and the in the, the tiara thing like the um Glitter Pony. If you remember, I reviewed a, um, it wasn't a My Little Pony figure, it was a pony, like a, a purple, shiny, colored pony. All had a tiara. But this is, this is Luna. This is the reason I got the box. It was a set. So let's see, to me, is the, is the bonus figure. I know it says that, she, that Luna is a special edition pony, and she's the, act, the added feature. But in, in my opinion, Celestia is the added, is the added feature. This one I think is better. Of course, who, who, who doesn't like Luna? Luna I think it's better uh, fan following than Celestia does. So you know, I could say that the twenty two fifty nine I spent on this box plus uh, for two day shipping I spent like forty something bucks on this box. I mean, it, it's worth it. Why is it worth it? Because of Luna. Luna's awesome. Mm, the, she's cool. I would pick her. Like I have my uh, my alarm clock, which is kind of flat, and all the other ones I reviewed, and a line next to it. I'm gonna stick her on top of it, and Luna next to her. That way they can like rule over them all. Yeah. Put the comb there. Mm, put the uh, I'm gonna put the uh, this awesome cape back on uh Congestia here. The one that's, it, it, it seemed to stay better when it first came out of it stays but it doesn't look like it's going to but it, it, it will which is weird interesting though there. there you have Celestia and one, one last uh, one last look at Celestia with everything on very nice and what's better than very nice? Extremely nice, which is right here. Got Luna. Purple, which she's supposed to be. Nice mane. Out of place barrette, but who cares? I would really wish this would have been more like um, a purpley color instead of yellow. But who, you know, who, who could, who, you know, like, you can't change that, you know. Hasbro does what Hazard wants to do, so anyway. Hair's nice, I like the, like the shine, and glitter's nice. Just makes the Luna look even more cool. So, let's look at Luna here. And, I guess, let's see, I can't think of anything else to add. But anyway, if you're a collector of these, get this. This this is worth it. Okay, what's, what's it called? Celestia and Luna. I think the um, Amazon has it as, uh, let's see, what's it say? What's it say? Yes, My Little Pony, let me show it to you. My Little Pony exclusive two-pack, Cancelot Princess Celestia Princess Luna. Let's see. Uh, $22.59 on Amazon. And does it show all the crap I added for shipping? And, yeah. From the bus, see Shipping and handling, 1889 on there, but up to 41, 48 dollars in total. But you know, I don't mind. Actually, I should on this Thursday, the 7th of June, I should be getting uh, the school pack, which has um, Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Belle and Cheerilee in one package. So uh, I'm, I can't wait for that. That one's going to be cool because um, I'm wondering if they're going to keep the Phillies like small, like smaller than this, which I hope they will because it'll, it'll make it look cooler. But also, um, if they got on the box, they got their names right. Let's see if I still have... Um, oh, let's see. My camera's so sensitive, you can probably hear me going through my bag of uh, trash here. Hmm. Not, not too bad. Um.
Anyway, if y'all, if y'all remember, uh, where is it? Where is that god awful mistake? Oh, speak of the devil. Royal Castle, friends. Twilight Sparkle. It looks like I got. Oh, I, I should get this one next, or I don't know, cause wait. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you look at this one, so this so this British lady has got combable hair. She's got her her uh, necklace chest thingy there, as well as a crown that looks so accurate. And she looks. Oh my God. I think she's white. Does she look white? Is she white? I think she's white. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this off Amazon next. I'll, I'm, I'm okay, keeping this version. Although I, I might call her Cadence after uh, if they never come out with one. She'll be Cadence, and this one will be will be Celestia. And I've also got Twilight Sparkle, which I don't have yet, so that'd be a good thing to get. And she's got a different pose than the basic ponies do. And you got Spike the Dragon, so I'm gonna get this this set next. But if you remember over here, they got they called Apple Bloom Scootaloo and Scootaloo Apple Bloom. Um, I think if I, if I remember, if I got Amazon, they got the box right. They called them the right. So uh, something to look forward to next time is the uh, the school friends. I think it's called. Let's see. Yeah, Pony School Pals and Cherry Leaf. So, alright. That just about wraps up their review. Join me Thursday, or Friday, or I don't know, when I review the, the School Pals set. So, that's me. Goodbye.